Welcome back to realvacantland.com. This is Luke Smith and I've got a property for you. This one is near San Francisco. It's just north of San Francisco. It's a couple two and a half, maybe three hour drive north of San Francisco, depending on traffic, what area around San Francisco you're coming from. And uh, the whole San Francisco Bay Area has just shot up in prices. I mean, just it's been going up for years and years and years and years. So it's amazing to find vacant land around the area that is still reasonably priced and not too far away. Um, in my opinion, this is a weekend drive from the Bay Area. Uh, maybe, possibly, you could live out here and hit a meeting every now and then in town if you needed to, but I, I don't think you would live here and commute to town. Um, but I think this would be a great place in the redwood trees to have a second home, an escape, a place to get away from it all. Um, you know, go have a go have a yoga studio, a, a pottery setup, a painter's studio, whatever kind of art you like to get into, or music, or just a place to get away and read books. Um, this this is that kind of area. It's just quiet, peaceful, lots of big trees. So let's take a look. Let's jump into the website and I'll show you this property. So this is the ruralvacantland.com. I'm asking, I just lowered the price on this. I was asking $249 a month for 48 months and um, nobody bought it. So I lowered it to 240, 249 a month for 24 months. That's half as many months. Same amount per month, half as many months. It's, uh, it's like a fifth of an acre roughly, or maybe an eighth of an acre. I made a video about this in the past. Um, the old video says sold because the market sold lady bought it and then never went to go look at it or anything and and returned it um, but uh, okay so there's a buy it now I got that updated um, this is 249 a month starting immediately for 24 months put your title information in there your, your other information hit next and uh, it's your property you can start using it I'll do the paperwork transfer over to you. This is coming out of one of the companies, David Adventure. Um, there's a high school that's just 11 minutes from the property. There's a gas station that's 12 minutes from the property. There's a post office that's 13 minutes from the property. I mean, you could ride your bike these kinds of distances. Um, so you know, a couple different restaurants that aren't very far away. There's this Mariposa Market. And this market has uh, organic... Um, fruits and vegetables it's all, all kinds of organic and natural produce natural foods uh, you know trying to be like a whole foods kind of place but not as corporate and chain like as whole foods so your local community um, natural food store so I think that's pretty neat too and it says it's like 14 minute drive so you could probably ride your bike there as well if you really wanted to um, So the GPS coordinates on here that I clicked on a little bit earlier, that you can click that on your phone and it'll give you driving directions. You can go there from wherever you're at in the Bay Area. You could get over there in the same day and, and back to go look at the property. Um, just by click on that and it'll give you driving directions. Go for it. Um, I got the GPS clicked so it comes up in the computer. And so it's this is the lot. You can see the lot lines in Google Maps. It's on Bear Drive. There's a satellite view. We'll switch over to the satellite view. It's just a bunch of trees. There's lots of trees. There's a power line in the street. There's a water line at the street. And um, I don't remember if this is, what part of the neighborhood is this? Yeah, so this part of the neighborhood's got sewer too. So there's sewer at the street. There's sewer, water, and power line at the street. So the utilities are all there and ready to go. If you look up this neighborhood and study this, there's been uh, scares in the past about not having enough water. And what the neighborhood did is they added on, they got a grant from the state to add on to one of the local um, lakes or reservoirs that's down here. Where'd they go? Not seeing it on the map, maybe it's behind my head. I can't see it right now, but there's two reservoirs in the neighborhood. And so these reservoirs, Lake Emily and Lake, here's one of them. Lake Emily. I think Lake Emily is the one that was added on to. I might have it mixed up with the other one, but Lake Emily, they added three foot onto the reservoir so it could store more water. And then the state, you know, the state gave them the money to do that. 
and then the state said okay you can keep issuing water permits to build more houses so right now I just called the wa the uh, the Brook Trails community people I've got it pulled up right here because I was just looking up their phone number um, they've got a website BTCSD Brook Trails community uh, whatever SD stands for um, and uh, they they have this new news release on their website this is from December 3rd and it said you know the state ends the ban on new water connections in Brook Trails so now you can get a, uh, a water connection in Brook Trails and since they ended that ban December 3rd as of today today is uh, the 21st August 21st one person has taken one of those one of those allocations to build a new house so only one new house has been built in the last you know half a year um, or is under construction right now from the community people I was just talking to this morning so there's another 22 allocations available before they got to go back to work on coming up with some more water sources so you know one every half a year or something in the past the people have been building two or three houses a year and so it's not a huge clip that people are building here but they're building enough to slowly use that up you know 10 years from now or something all those water um, connections might be used up and so but if you look at the neighborhood that's why the prices are low because people are worried about the water but right now the water is available so you can take advantage of that you can go hook up and uh, use your water allocation to build a house they're not going to take it away from you once you get it set up and then uh, go for it then you got got a place there's the community website's got another thing talking about the water system the sewer system this community website's got a lot of information. I've got a link in the ad, I believe. Yeah. So in the listing, um, right above the buy price, there's a link that says, "Please check this." Um, it's about the, you know, the community information. And so, yeah, here's the phone number. I was just calling. I forget the lady's name that answered, but um, a really nice lady. I pulled up the weather there in Willits, which is a local town next to it. So right now it's it's like almost 11 in the morning and it's 60 degrees and it looks like it's going to get up to 79 before the day turns over so it gets cooler at night it's in the 50s at night and this is in August it's in the 50s at night and it's going up into the 70s almost 80 in the day and um, right now they don't have fire problem um, a couple weeks ago some of the roads between San Francisco and here were closed for fire um, but right now they're smooth sailing. You can go look at the look at the property. So here's some lot lines from some other software showing the property here. We didn't do street view, did we? So it's just a bunch of trees. These are big redwood trees, lots of trees, and um, let's see if we can zoom in on that. Where'd the property go? Here it is. Okay, so it's, let me figure out where it's at. So it's, it's in, I'm lost. It's not. It's over here. It's between this street and that house. Let's see if I can get it to zoom in there. Yeah. Okay. So this street here turns off. This is called Bear Court, I think. Let's see if we can see. Yeah, Bear Court. So Bear Court is just a little cul-de-sac that goes in. Um, when you drive up here a little bit. And your house would be back here in the woods so it looks like an easy drive into the woods I'm mean, gonna put in a driveway in there and put the house up on a hill and it's just lots of big big redwood trees all over the place the power line right out front so all the utilities are there it's a beautiful wooded area to build a house so a little bit of an uphill slope into the lot not much I mean you could Maybe have a walkout basement there. You probably just have a couple stairs going up to the house. 
So there's some nice, beautiful woods to uh, to go for it. If you're interested in this lot, please hit, hit the link below, and it'll take you back to my website where there's you know you can get the driving directions to the property. Go take a look at it, see if it's the right one for you. I've got a couple others in the neighborhood um, to take a look at too. They're all on ruralvacantland.com, and uh, I'll do owner financing, just easy payments over time. You can start with the first payment, and as you get it paid off, I'll deed it over into your name in the meantime go build on it go build your dream cabin and uh, have a nice place in the woods to escape to whether it's a retirement home or a weekend home or whatever it might be this could be a good project to go make happen thanks for listening thanks for watching it's luke smith ruralvacantland.com hope to see you again in the next video